Hi everyone. In this video, we will take a look at solving first order differential equations numerically in Python using the Euler method. For this tutorial, I will be using SymPy. So let's start by loading the library along with some symbols. So I'll go over the basic theory briefly and then we will dive into the coding, uh, dive into coding a loop for getting the numerical approximations. So first, let's take a quick look at the theorem regarding the existence of a unique solution. So if we have functions f and its derivative fy, uh, which are continuous on some rectangle in the dy plane, containing the points t0 and y0, then there exists a unique solution y equals to some function of t of the given problem in some interval about t0. And if the derivative fy is non-linear, then the interval of existence of the solution may be difficult to determine, or we may not have any simple relationship in the function, or we may not be able to get closed form solutions of the function. All right, so now that we have taken a look at the existence of a unique solution, so let's now take a look at the Euler method. So I'll just go over this very briefly. So given the initial value problem uh, of some first order uh, differential equations where y prime equals to the function of y and t, and we have this initial condition y equals to y naught when t equals to t naught, we assume that uh, let's say y equals to phi t be the solution of this first order differential equation. And then by integrating the differential equation from tn to tn plus one, we can obtain this solution. And we are trying to approximate the solution. So by replacing this integrant by its approximate value f evaluated at tn and yn at the left end point of the interval of integration, we can obtain the Euler formula, which is given by this yn plus 1 is equals to yn plus h times fn, which is basically the derivative evaluated at that, that time uh, t and uh, that, uh, the previous value of y that we know. And h here, it represents the step size. So, for example, if we start with initial values y0 and t0, and then in the first iteration, we will get y1 equals to y0, which is the initial value of y, plus h, the step size, times the derivative evaluated at t0 and y0. Once we do that, we will have a value of y1, and then in the second iteration, we can get y2, doing this again and again. And so like this, we can get the value of the function, or the solution of the differential equations, at whatever point in t we would like to know. So now let's solve the following two problems. Yeah and see how we can do it in Python very easily. So here, I'll start with the easier one where y prime is equals to one plus t times y square. So I just define the function at first. So let's give it a name f prime equals to one plus t times y square. And we have the initial condition, let's say t naught equals to zero and y naught equals to one. And let's say our step size h is equals to 0 0.1 and I'm just going to solve it up to t equals to 0 0.4. So we can write this small loop to apply the other method. So in the very first iteration, i is not i is going to be zero in here. And so when i is less than one, which is for the very first case, when i is equals to zero, we will run this block of the code. And what it does is, is it assigns tn and yn at their initial values, which we, which we have already given here. And then given the initial values, we evaluate the derivative at its value of t and y. So we substitute t equals to tn and y equals to yn in the derivative that we have defined here. And that gives us the value of the function f and then we update the value of t by adding the step size. So tn is now equals to tn plus h. And then we will move to the second iteration where i equals to one in this case, and it will run this block of code. So it's going to estimate the value of y given the value of the derivative and y in the previous step. So we have yn, which, which comes from here, y0, and we have h, which is the step size, and we have the value of the derivative evaluated at y0, which comes from here. And that gives us y1. And then we again evaluate the derivative, and this is something we're going to use in the next iteration. And we update the value of t. And this is just uh, some print instructions to see what's happening in the loop. And so I'll just run it again. So let's run this block of the code, and then let's run this loop. And we can see in the very first iteration, tn is zero and yn is one, which is our initial condition. And at this point, uh, the slope is one as well. And then as it goes on, it solves up to tn equals to four, and at that very point, the value of the function is 1.67 and the slope at this point is 3.93. All right, so now let's solve this again for this function, which is a little bit more complicated than the first one. Everything else stays the same. The loop stays the same. We have just changed the uh, formula of the derivative. And then applying this, we can see that the first iteration is just the initial condition. And then it goes all the way up to tn equals to 4, 0 0.4 and we get the value of the solution to be 1.19 at this given point and the slope to be this. So this is going to be the first tutorial on the Euler method. In the next video, we will take a look at how we can get better approximate using the improved Euler method.
If you like my videos and find them helpful, then please support my work by subscribing to the channel.